Thank you, Erica. As more people continue moving to Austin, it is getting harder for our water systems. Keep up with all the growth. That's true. Austin Water wants to hear now from you. What are your ideas to save our most precious resources? KXAN's Blake Devine joining us live from the newsroom with what the city is looking to do. Good morning. Good morning, Sally and Tom. You know, just a little later today, Austin Water will host the first of three workshops this week to outline its aquifer storage and recovery project, a long name. But what does that mean? Well, it's a new water supply strategy which would allow the public utility to ultimately store storm water in a natural aquifer. That would be available for later use when that water is needed, and this is an idea of what it would look like. It's a key supply strategy and an overarching plan to address the risks due to drought and climate change here in Central Texas. And this ASR project is part of Austin City Council's approved water forward plan that was approved back in 2018 after lake levels hit an all-time low in both Lake Travis and Lake Buchanan. So this pro project provides a roadmap for the future of Austin's water over the next 100 years. The Trinity and Carrizo Wilcox aquifers in Bastrop, Lee, and Travis County have the best potential for an ASR project. So we will be hosting um, one each of those in-person community workshops in those communities. Austin Water is still in the early phase of starting this ASR project. It says the community feedback is critical in order to make major decisions on where it can begin building this aquifer. And the first workshop will take place tonight at 6 p.m. at the Giddings Public Library. And then there'll be another meeting on Wednesday in Bastrop, followed by a workshop on Thursday in Austin. Tom, Sally.